So we've seen when we differentiate from first principles that sine of x will differentiate to cosine of x. Now, cosine of x, we also saw when we differentiated from first principles, became minus sine x. So if that's the case, if sine x goes to cosine of x, then minus sine of x must go to minus cosine of x. And if cosine goes to minus sine, then minus cosine must go back to sine. And so this reverse, well, keeps the process going. OK, in either direction. So I am differentiating as I work my way down the list. OK, and consequently integrating as I work up the list. OK, so this is me differentiating each of these functions. Now, if I've got sine of kx and cosine of kx, then I can use the chain rule. So I could say y equals sine of kx. If I let u be kx, then y is equal to sine of u. So dy by du would be cosine of u, and du by dx would just be k. So dy by dx is equal to dy by du times du by dx. So k cosine of u. And u was just kx. So sine of kx differentiates to k cosine of kx. Now likewise... We can replace this with y is equal to cosine of kx. So if I use the same method, let u be kx, then y is equal to uh, sorry cosine of u. So du by dx is k. dy by du is minus sine of u. So dy by dx is dy by du times du by dx. So minus k sine of u. And u was kx. So cosine of kx differentiates to minus k sine of kx using the chain rule.